In the ongoing military standoff between the two Asian giants, India and China, along the line of actual control in eastern Ladakh, the paper dragon has now publicized a new, albeit futile, stunt. Chinese state media has pompously reported that the People's Liberation Army soldiers are all set to receive winter clothing made of graphene. While giving us a sense of the climatic conditions in the region, the move by China also acts as an authoritative stamp on the fact that its soldiers are currently being made to go through hell. However, while the Chinese state media has reported rather excessively on the development and on the benevolent nature of the top CCP officials who are ensuring that the PLA soldiers get the best winter outfits in the Himalayas, the fact remains that winter has already set in and the Chinese little emperors are already freezing in Ladakh snow. The move perhaps is a desperate attempt by Xi Jinping to save face on multiple global forums that he is scheduled to attend this month. In fact, the CCP General Secretary and India's Prime Minister Narendra Modi will be face to face in at least three virtual summits. Therefore, in order to portray China as a country which cares for its soldiers by ensuring the best clothing and equipment for them and also to show how the paper dragon holds an advantage over India, the CCP has decided to widely circulate the news of graphene clothing being produced for its soldiers. Chinese state media reports that China has shortlisted nearly two dozen private companies to supply advanced unmanned weaponry and graphene clothing to the PLA regiments deployed along the long, high-altitude border areas with India. The PLA is supposedly going to be supplied with smart, warm clothing made of graphene, which is a form of carbon, even as it also hopes to procure portable solar chargers, portable oxygenators, and a multifunctional dining vehicle. For usage in plateau or mountain warfare and border defense, the PLA's Tibet Command recently invited 22 private arms companies and held meetings to review their products. While the Chinese Communist Party's propaganda wing appears to be working overtime to ensure that it transforms the PLA into an Avengers-like fighting force, metaphorically, the reality on ground is starkly different. It would not take a very intelligent guess to arrive at the conclusion that the decision to procure graphene clothing for PLA soldiers, being the recent one, will take quite some time to reach fruition. By the time the revolutionary winter outfits are made available to the wimp-like Chinese soldiers, which will not be anytime soon, either India would have thrashed the living daylights out of them or they would have frozen eternally on their own accord. Both ways, China's decision to procure such winter outfits after winter has already set in is magnificently useless and a foolish decision. Meanwhile, Prime Minister Modi and Xi Jinping will face each other thrice this month at the Shanghai Cooperation Organization Heads of State Summit on November 10th, the BRICS Summit on November 17th, and the G20 Summit on November 21 and 22. Perhaps to not make a clown of himself in front of the Indian Prime Minister Xi Jinping has ordered the state media to over-report on the PLA being gifted with super winter clothes to fight India along the LAC. While Xi Jinping is on the back foot very clearly, he wants to send across the message that China is ready for the long haul. It has already been extensively reported by TFI how PLA soldiers are being stretched off to medical facilities from positions of their deployment where they were facing the well-acclimatized warriors of India. It should thus not come as a surprise that Chinese state medium, in an attempt to cover up for the physical weaknesses of its soldiers, is reporting on how the CCP plans to give the PLA all the requisite material and equipment to fight India.